Hello everyone just podcast TV is here please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified on new content. Episode 250 Words of Gratitude I, I don't know. I just took it. I want to take a look but why did it end up like this? Mariah's face was filled with confusion. She did not understand what was going on. It clearly looked like a pretty good little golden man. But why did it become two halves when she picked it up? It wasn't until she saw the evil smile on Zack's face that she realized she had been tricked. Mariah stomped her foot in annoyance. You're so hateful! Why did you deliberately make a scene to scare me? Mariah, who was hiding in her high heels, looked particularly adorable. She didn't look like she was in her 40s at all. Furthermore, there was not the slightest bit of discordance. Instead, it was filled with a different kind of charm. After that, Mariah asked Zack, What a fine little golden man. Why did you break it? Zack took a deep breath and said, Since we already won, I don't see it as a problem. Are we going to immerse ourselves in the glory of the past? Oh my god. Mariah felt that her soul had been affected. The people of this big family were different. Their words and actions were all so reasonable. She felt that what Zack said was very right. Even her own thoughts had been sublimated. You are right. When I go back, I will throw away my trophies. All these years I have immersed myself in the glory brought by these trophies and couldn't extract myself from it. That's why I didn't make any progress. Zack, I've benefited a lot from your actions and your words. Zack nodded solemnly. In fact, he had also benefited a lot. The main reason was that these words were not his original creation. He had just plagiarized the old fox. However, Zack wanted to find an opportunity to give Mariah more benefits. He wanted to teach her about a few hundred million. Therefore, after Mariah chatted with her master for a while and let go of the little golden man who was the male lead, Zack took her and left. It's fine if you have something to do. If you are fine, accompany me out for a while. I have booked a car and need to drive there, Zack said. Mariah replied, If there's anything else, it's fine. I'll drive you there. Anyway, it's on the way. Zack replied, It might not be on the way. We have to go to the car factory. The car is in the north. Mariah was stunned. After a long time, she replied, You are rich. You still want to buy a second-hand car? Zack was very depressed. After he explained this matter to Mariah, she suddenly understood. Her mind had been elsewhere on the topic of Director Hamilton. She immediately expressed that it was nothing. Director Hamilton had been very busy recently. Best Director of the Golden Award. This was not just for show. He was so busy with his business. Fortunately, he had already signed a contract with Dream Film and Television Company. No matter how busy he was, in the end, he still had to take the contract from Dream. On the third morning, the two of them arrived at the auto factory. Mariah did not want to go in. After all, she was a celebrity and had been married for so many years. Everyone knew who her husband was. Zack thought about it and did not force her. He let her go back to the hotel and wait. In the end, not long after he entered the car factory, Mariah called. She said that Director Hamilton was going back, so she had to go back as soon as possible. The person in charge of receiving Zack and managing the vehicle delivery ceremony today was Luna. She had long, flesh-colored stockings, long and slender legs, a graceful and slender figure, and was in her 30s. She was also beautiful, as she was ruthless. This was great. Apart from these two words, Zack didn't know how to describe it. Although she was only in her 30s, she had already entered the upper echelons of the automotive factory. She was known as the person with the brightest future in the automotive factory. After introducing themselves, the two of them came to the auditorium and held a grand vehicle delivery ceremony. A photographer took pictures, and it was quite formal. She even made Zack present his speech as the new car owner. What was there to say? If I pay, you can sell the car. However, the cars were different in the end, and their standpoints were different. Zack emphasized, Just like this car, it has a heart, like the many people that have worked on it for this very occasion. I too feel 
Like I am honored to have so many people work tirelessly to make such a work of art. Episode 251. Please take care of yourself. Mr. Marquez, your speech is really unique and refined. When she was about to get into the car with the formalities, Luna commented on Zack's speech just now. Zack suddenly thought of the world's annual wind and cloud carriage. All right, Director Luna, you are an expert. I want to know something about you. Luna originally only wanted to save some courtesy for a playboy like Zack. However, she did not expect Zack to have such a solemn expression and words. So she smiled and replied, If it's about the car, Mr. Marquez, please ask. Zack understood what she meant, but he didn't say anything else about this topic. He asked directly, What are the standards for the global wind cloud carriage selection? Luna was slightly stunned before she said, There are many criteria for the global wind cloud carriages. Appearance, kinetic energy, safety, comfort, and economics. Even the power system is within the scope of the criteria. However, this does not include sales. Of course, if the sales are poor, Luna did not say anything else because she could not continue talking. The sales volume was quite low, which made her think of the previous factory. Especially when they went to the car exhibition, there was only one model. This was really too embarrassing. However, Zack did not pay attention to this. Zack was more concerned about the qualification to participate in the selection. When he asked Luna for guidance on this question, Luna replied, Yes, there is only one standard for the annual selection of the world, and that is a new car that will be on the market for two years. And as for the safety tests for collisions, these were naturally necessary. The factory itself had to have it. Why? It sounds like Mr. Marquez is very interested in the automotive industry. Zack avoided the question and did not answer. He smiled and nodded. After a few more words, Zack said goodbye to Luna and drove his exclusive QZL5 car out of the factory. Luna looked at the distance QZL5 and frowned. She felt that Zack was a little strange. What made her feel even more strange was that the car actually came back not long after it left. Luna walked to the front of the car and asked with a laugh, huh, What's wrong, Mr. Marquez? Did you forget something? After getting out of the car, Zack said to Luna, It's not that I forgot something, but, Director Luna, you forgot something. I came back to ask for a temporary card. Buying a new car and getting a temporary license plate, this was absolutely a natural thing. Um, Luna could only express. Sorry, this is indeed my mistake in my work. I will send someone to get it for you right away. She waved at the staff in the distance, then instructed Luna to take the temporary card. Zack did not bother with Luna anymore and started to study the car. It was really not bad. The configuration and the like were all set according to his own requirements. Some of the details and problems were also modified according to his own requirements. He was very satisfied. Not long after, the staff brought the temporary card over, and Luna went to find Zack. Mr. Marquez, I'm, I'm really sorry. It was my mistake just now, and I wasted your time. Luna said as she bent down and put the card into the gap between the front and the back of the car. Zack smiled at her and said, Thank you. Then he got into the car. But after the car left, he had something to say and stayed where he was. We will meet again, Director Luna. Episode 252. He was really angry. Zack drove back home at full speed. The car was really good. He had been used to driving a Bentley before. It was no different from those cars that were comfortable to drive. It was already past 9 o'clock in the evening when he returned home. At this time, Kate was exercising in the fitness room. A good figure naturally needed good exercise. Every bit of fat that disappeared was accompanied by sweat. At night, the two of them had some intimate words on the bed. After that, Kate softly said, Bubby, I'm late. Too late? Zack was a little surprised. Did you apply for a credit card or a loan? Kate said with a delicate voice, Oh, it's not this. It's my time. It's overdue. 
She said it in such a reserved manner. It turned out that it was something that only women had. At first, Zach didn't pay much attention to it. However, in the next few moments, the taste returned. His eyes were filled with joy. Are you going to be a mother? Kate said in annoyance. No, I mean, it has been more than ten days. I have always been very accurate. At most, there will be a difference of one or two days. However, more than ten days have passed. I think it's possible. Zach was unhappy at that time. Then you still dare to train? Aren't you afraid of hurting my daughter? You only know that she is my daughter. Kate pouted and then said, I am afraid that you don't like it, so I want to let nature take its course. If this level of exercise is like that, then forget it. Zach was obviously unhappy at this moment. How could I be unwilling? I'm quite willing, all right? This is your baby and mine. I like both boys and girls, but there's one thing. You have to take good care of yourself. And also, take good care of the baby. Zach had said many things, and all of them were based on Kate and the baby. When he thought about how he was going to be a father, he felt very excited about it. However, the only flaw was that he could not touch Kate again for a year. Such a coquettish woman could only be hugged and not touched. Wasn't this torture? That night, Zach was very excited. He thought about it over and over again. He was actually going to be a father. It was very fresh and also very happy. But sadly, the next morning, Kate regretfully told him that it was not to be. This made Zach very depressed. Mother Nature is playing with my feelings now. After that, Zach saw the joy in Kate's eyes. There was even a little slyness in her eyes. No, Kate must be holding back and did not tell him the truth. After Zach asked, Kate finally told the truth. She saw on the internet that if a man was unhappy or annoyed with the fact that a woman was pregnant, it meant that this man did not have much feelings for her. After driving back to the company, Zack sent Ken to drive his car and find Larry. What? Get a car? Director Marquez, what do you think? This is a huge business taboo. When Zack brought up the topic of driving cars, Larry was furious. Our advertisement and movie have just started. If you make another car now, won't you cause more trouble? Besides, none of us know anything about the automotive industry. It's very risky for us to step into it so rashly, okay? Larry did not agree with Zach's decision to step into the automotive industry. He even expressed his attitude. If you dare to open an automotive factory, I will resign. This was a blatant threat. But Larry's intention was not for personal gain, but for the company's sake. So Zach was not angry. He flicked the ashes of his cigarette and said to Larry, Why are you so anxious? You have such a big temper at such a young age. And you are not so anxious. No wonder you have been flirting with women when your wife is not around. You are very angry. Larry was embarrassed by Zach's words, but he still defended himself. We must not go to the car factory. Whether he compensated or not was one thing. He also knew that Zach did not lack money, but business was not just about profits. There was also a lot. Just like Larry, he treated business as a game. He liked the game and liked the account that he had built with his own efforts. However, if he suddenly decided to make an effort into a new endeavor, it might end badly. Zach said to him, How many years and money will it take to build a car factory? How much will it cost for me to build a car factory? Producing a production line, hiring, and building a factory are small matters. The research and development funds are the biggest. I spent several years and decades investing in research and development funds to find a not-so-obvious future. What's wrong with me? Under Zach's explanation, Larry's emotions gradually calmed down. Then what do you mean by buying a ready-made one? Zach waved his hand. No, I've recently researched this matter. We don't need to build a factory, nor do we need to buy ready-made ones. This will make it impossible for us to see results within a few years, and it will cost a lot of money. I want to research the power system and the new energy system. Of course, I don't want to research and develop it myself. I want to invest in the company or buy the patent and then rely on these two systems to equip the new car. As for production, we don't need to build our own factory. We can totally cooperate with 
domestic automotive manufacturers. We can even contract the production line or invest in the technology to do this. Zach said a lot. Larry listened quietly and nodded slowly. He started to agree with this. If that's the case, it's feasible. Although it may involve the power system and the production of new energy systems later on, we can totally build our own factory or find someone to work for us. That's not a problem. Right now, this is the trend of all new energy all around the world. Moreover, there isn't a truly perfect new energy system. So I feel that this plan is feasible. This can be done, but we need professional market researchers to make plans and feasible evaluation reports. While Larry was talking, Zach chuckled and said, That's why I asked you to come. You can recommend me as an awesome person. Another awesome person was going to join this super team. This made Larry especially excited. You don't have to say that. I already thought of a person. A super awesome one.